Hi Aries, it's Elle here to do your April 2019 general reading. Happy birthday guys. Um, okay, so I'm not on camera today just because I got a whole bunch going on. This is like beauty day. You know, my girls know what I'm talking about. You know, doing the facial and just really trying to get it all together. And especially I have somewhere to go later, so I just want to lick my best, okay? So anyhow, um, let's get it going. I would like to say thank you to those who like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. It's much appreciated. Uh, I'll leave the announcements to the end. Uh, but I want to say that upon shuffling this deck, the Starman deck for Aries, and, and I was focusing on love, nothing but good cards came out i just want to say that um i'm hoping the same here on camera me shuffling right nothing but good cards especially for love also for career too um for some of my areas it looks like you may be departing from one sector uh, of your life it, it could be in love it could be in career but whatever you're departing from it, it um the next thing takes you to the Ten of Pentacles that kept coming out for you um, to some real stability. Um, if it's a uh, divorce, then it looks like you just, you know, you it went from nine to ten. So anyhow, let's see. All right, love. What can you tell Aries for love? All right, first card. Nice. Three of Wands. Some of you are anticipating what's to come you're ready to build the four of wands with someone or just a stable relationship um you also you may be waiting waiting for communication the threes are about creation you've created in love in regards to love with someone thus far and now you want to solidify you know i'm tired I'm tired of just doing the work here. I'm ready. I'm now ready to solidify the relationship by way of um, maybe marriage, moving in together, taking things to the next level, uh, status change. We need to be boyfriend and girlfriend. I, I need some stability here for wands. Five of Swords. Okay. Something crops up from the past in regards to what you have been creating with another person now this could be like interference third party family friend job it could be that you are or were a third party something comes back in regards to where you have to um there's no win-win here it's just we agree to disagree we walk away maybe even harsh words spoken within a union right and then separation uh the this the star man um i think this is the hermit yeah the hermit card no this is the uh temperance i believe Some of you are going to try to salvage or someone wants to salvage a relationship with you. You may have cut out, cut off something with someone and now they're back. Or they want to come back. They want to pick up the pieces of a failed union. Yeah, Prince of Wands. This might have been a person in and out. Nine of Swords. There is separation here. Uh, high anxiety in regards to... Um, this love affair what, whatever type of affair it is or was six of wands but they want to choose to they want some attention from you they want you to choose them or you them judgment this person wants they want to have victory with you or over you let's see what they really want because right now the only offer we have is the knight of wands they want to passionately express themselves. And this could be you, Aries. What is the Six of Wands? All those good cards. Where are they at? Prince of Cups. Could be dealing with a Cancer person. 
could be dealing with a, a Sagittarius person. They have high passion for you, love for you. They want to express those two things to you. This person wants a second chance. They may want to revive something that is, as we see from the the um, first two cards, it may have been dead, uh, or, or it was, or yeah, you guys weren't talking. This time it may be the magician too. I always forget about this. This is a person that's trying to manifest an, another opportunity with you. They have love and passion to give. This is someone who is out of your sphere. Out of the circle now. Um, they want to come back. Uh, what does this person want? What are they offering? What do they really want? What are their plans? I'm hearing four cards. Prince of Swords, the Moon, Two of Pentacles, Three of Cups. Okay. This is a person that is really trying to find their way back to you in any means by any means seven of swords they they have devised a plan within their mind and their actions they want to come back they may even be peering in on you in regards to social media or something where they they kind of keep tabs on you um they may have dreams of you dreams of of coming back to you they understand that you you guys are very different but they want this love affair back and this may not be the best love affair uh, this person just wants to reconcile they just want you back you know I think I mentioned in the in the Aquarius reading, one of the Aquarius readings, how Three of Cups, they want to reconcile. They want to have your friendship back. Um, people sometimes don't necessarily miss you, but they miss having access to you. This person wants to come back dearly. This could be... Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, King of Cups here. Typically Pisces, uh, Scorpio. It could be a, a, a Cancer too, but. I don't see the long-term dedicated devotion commitment cards. I see a lot of passion, desire, and love for you. And that's a great thing to have towards someone. But, um you also need to be at least willing to solidify at this point and if you aren't walk away because it looks like this has been something long term let's see if we can get any more love messages for Aries all the cards that had come out off camera were so good <laughs> what happened did I jinx it by saying that oh my god the love message I mean okay I just heard you need advice in regards to what to do with this person coming back what's the advice for Aries in regards to this person wanting a second chance a do-over or a third or fourth chance right you might have let this person come back several times what should Aries do what is the advice for the Aries person who's dealing with this particular situation what's the advice for Aries thank you thank you thank you Heather. wow the magician in reverse okay the ace of cups upright okay 
Three of Cups upright, Four of Pentacles. All right. The hangman in reverse. Okay. Aries, the advice here is you might have been manifesting love, but we got the nine of cups and the empress in the reverse. This spread says, "Be careful what you you manifest. You want you want love." The magician in reverse, the ace of cups up. But I think it starts with self. In the three of cups, don't just accept what this person is offering. Understand that you deserve real, true love. The ace of cups talks about real, true love and friendship. This person wants to hold on to maybe this third party situation. And this is not what you, you hope and wish for. The Nine of Cups upright talks about hoping, wishing, praying for something you're without, right? That that one cup, that tenth cup, the ten of cups. This says nine of cups in reverse that this is not what you, who or what you hope and wish for. And the empress in reverse, what you've created with this person is um, it's not fertile, it's not going anywhere. The empress is about fertility, growth. The advice here is to understand what you will be embarking on if you allow this person. Um residence back into your life right the hangman in reverse come out of stagnation you you've seen the situation from a different perspective you know what it is live in the truth of the matter them coming back is not wish fulfillment wow it's not what you want it's not what you are working toward it's just them coming back Maybe that's the lesson in that. Okay. You know what? Let's jump to career and finance. And we'll see what else. What can you tell the Aries in regards to career and finance? Career and finance for the Aries. Seven of Wands. Something has been an uphill battle. You have had to defend... You've, you've maintained control because you've been on the defense in your career in finance. Four of Pentacles, you may be um, governing how much money you spend, putting yourself on a budget in regards to maybe a large sum of money or just wanting to be at a certain status in regards to the bank account. You know, like, okay, I'm not going to spend this because I want my bank account to always be at this number. You know, four of Wands, definitely concerned. And some of you are definitely concerned about stability. Four of Pentacles, Four of Wands, and creating that for yourself. Some of you may be um, taking money and putting it into your home, making re um, restoring and renovations. The Queen of Swords, yeah definitely restoring recreating in your home putting some more putting some of that money into your home five of pentacles or you you've been putting money into creating stability for yourself in a, in a home environment in your life in, in all sectors of your life five of pentacles you're not having a lot of confidence you're feeling like you don't have enough money or, or, or growth of money. It has been stagnant, but it says have strength and moving forward. 
Wow, because you are the Empress and what you're creating from nothing, it, it will manifest for you. You are the Empress. You can do this. One more card. Wow, Page of Pentacles. And this may be in regards to starting a new business. Something new here. She's about fertility and growth. The Page of Pentacles is the messages, the, the doing, the writing, the communicating about a new way of uh, maybe earning income or income coming in. Have the strength to create this newness for yourself. One last card, Justice. Do know that spirit is on your side. What is due to you will come to you. What is just and fair, karmic, karmically uh, righteous for you will come in. Queen of Cups. This may be in regards to um, something you you love to do. Something creative, something from the heart, something that you, yeah, something creative. It could even be art, some art form. This is a, an Aries who is creating something new. And in, in doing that, it always, it always is the Seven of Wands. It's the up and down. It's the uphill battle I, I, you know I'll have a victory for earth money will come in I feel stable I'm making decisions in regards to my stability being very decisive but then a lack of confidence comes in maybe because some money went out or or things have changed or it's stagnant but I need to have strength in knowing that what I'm creating will bring me um, the other card fell justice and that spirit is on my side in regards to what I'm creating okay that's that's really good um, so I feel like there needs to be let's close this out with with the angel answers in the butterfly oracle and then we will clarify the angel answers in the butterfly oracle over at my website um the extended read is now two dollars two whole dollars um if you feel like this reading resonated with you for you then get the extended reading we'll, we'll drill down you'll get a bit more um advice by way of the cards um, in regards to your situation okay so first card ask your angels okay choose a new direction not the right time wait in the bottom of the deck perfect timing right so we have ask your angels choose a new direction not the right time wait in perfect timing this is wow this is all about maybe an Aries needing to clear Clear before manifesting. Clear the energy of the old. Things have to line up perfectly in regards to time. Or it'll be another situation of, you know, something being built on a faulty ground. Then eventually you'll have a tower moment, right? Let's see. What do our butterfly oracle cards have to say? What should the Aries be focused on moving forward? Relationship dynamics. Someone feels different within the, the dynamic of a relationship. Something 
has changed. Something, something has shifted. Dietary change. What you intake. What are you? What are you putting in your body? Changing your mind. Self-care. All right. Worry about yourself. Be concerned about Aries because essentially no one else is or will be not as much as you will be. So definitely take some time to really check in with yourself. All right. End of an era. That's nice. End of something. Something is done. Okay. Um, so we're going to clarify over the other side in regards to our angel answers cards and our butterfly oracle thank you guys for tuning in i hope that you have a really good birthday month it just looks like a lot of clearing and um waiting waiting to have something really good uh maybe I, the cards that i was getting off of camera was what's to come after you clear uh really really good cards it looks like aries is on the brink of um, allowing a karmic release of some sort okay All right. so the website the link to the extended reading is below i hope to see you there thank you aries know that i'm praying for you pray for me as well um also comment below i want to choose some at least two people to do um a free reading for it, but it'll be more of coaching so I'm, i've got something new coming up okay all right so thank you guys take care bye